Hello everyone, this is Amanda with the LiveCoin Q&A. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at five different eBay listings that I've gotten pulled up. All of these listings are misleading in some way, and some of them have sold for outrageous prices. Well, they show up as sold listings, but I'm kind of hoping that they're not legitimate sold listings. Anyway, before I get into the video, I will say I'm not trying to bash any of these people that are on here selling. A couple of them, I feel like maybe they just don't know any better. And as a seller, you really should know what you're selling before you go and list it. So, without any further ado, let's get into the coin. All right, we're going to start out with this 1946 wheat penny that sticks to a magnet. This coin had 16 bids, and the winning bid was $43 with $5.95 of shipping. And let's see what the description says. This find is truly magnificent. I've been hunting errors for a very long time, but have never found a wheat penny outside of 1943 that is stuck to a magnet. I will start this very cheap, so good luck and get it graded, and please let me know what kind of information Professional Grading Service says. Good luck with the process. I am not responsible for what happens when you get it graded, you are responsible after this leaves my hands. And with eBay, even with them saying that, and having returns not being accepted, if the person that buys this opens the return for item not as described, then they can actually be forced to accept a return. So let's look at these pictures. In these photos, you can see the coin is sticking to a magnet, which, if you're familiar with wheat scents, you know a 1946 is not supposed to be magnetic. There's a reverse photo on the magnet. And here's a full obverse photo. All right, now most of you are probably wondering... Well, why does the coin stick to a magnet? Well, I'm going to say this coin has been plated. And there are a couple things to look for that will indicate whether a coin has been plated after it left the mint. When a coin is plated after it leaves the mint, the plating can actually cause some of the finer details on the coin to become filled in. And when I was looking at these photos before the video, you can see some of that on the reverse. And instead of having natural mint luster and that nice cartwheel when you turn the coin in the light, this one will still have a shiny appearance, but it's not going to be a natural looking appearance, as you can see in the photos. It's kind of dull and shiny at the same time, which is not what you'd expect to see if it came from the mint like this. And one very important piece of information, if this had been some kind of wrong planchet error, they really should have included the weight of the coin, but that is not included. I'm guessing it probably just weighs a little over the standard 3 grams, 3.1 grams, because this plating would have added a little bit of weight to it. So, I'm guessing whatever this coin was plated with, the metal has magnetic properties, and that's why it is attracted to the magnet. So, this definitely wasn't a good buy for $43. All right, next up we have a 1989D Lincoln Cent Mint Error Double Die Coin. This coin didn't actually sell. It's still available, but I wouldn't recommend that any of you rush to go buy it. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and correct the title because Paula would correct it if she was the one doing this video. A doubled die is a variety and not a mint error. So there you go. So the asking price on this one is $1,800 or you can make an offer and $5 in shipping. The description down here is rather uneventful. It just says 1989D Lincoln Cent Mint Error Double Die without that last D missing and doubled. So I looked at the obverse and I wasn't able to see anything that looked like doubling. You can see there's a giant fingerprint on the obverse, but other than that, I don't see anything that looks doubled. But when I went to look at the reverse photos, I was wondering if maybe they have mistaken this split plating up here above United States as doubling, because that is the only thing I can see on this coin that even resembles doubling of any kind. But unfortunately, that is not something that adds value to a coin. That's something we commonly see on the copper-plated zinc Lincoln cents. And it actually takes away from value because it helps the coin rot faster. So, while I'm sure they're hoping they're going to get the $1,800, this definitely would not be a good way to spend $1,800 and I would advise the 17 people that are watching this not to buy it. Alright, next up we have a 2 out of 10 rare 1923S $1 silver coin in Godwe TRVST mint error. This coin had a winning bid of $9,000 with one bid, and the shipping was $5. So the TRVST mint error that they're talking about is actually a part of the normal design of the peace dollar. The U is supposed to look like a V because it's actually a Latin translation, and that's the normal design. So that's not actually an error of any kind. This is just a normal 1923s peace dollar. And at $9,000, that's way overpriced. And I'm kind of hoping this was either maybe they bid on their own coin just so there would be a sold record. Or maybe it was money laundering. On to one of the heavy hitters in this video. We have a 1943 Lincoln Penny, very rare copper cent, and the selling price was $32,000, and this item was located in Pakistan, and I'm hoping this was also a fake sale. If we look at these horrible photos that are a little out of focus, you can see the details on this are extremely mushy. Lincoln's face doesn't look quite right. And on the reverse, even though the picture is not that good, you can tell the surface is a little rough. And this is just a very, very bad counterfeit. And we've got a picture of them holding the coin with their bare hands. If you found a 1943 copper that was legitimate, you wouldn't want to be holding it with your bare hands and getting fingerprint and oils from your fingers on it. But I'm hoping this one was a fake sale or maybe money laundering too because that is a very bad fake, not a legitimate Copper 1943 Lincoln Cent. 
We are down to the very last coin we're going to take a look at. This is a 1969 S proof double die penny. Again, this person forgot that last D and doubled just like that other person. The winning bid was $31,600 with 55 bids. And I did check this out, and there were only two people bidding on this coin. And I have a very good feeling that this is not a legitimate sale either, and that maybe they were trying to establish some kind of sales record for this coin. I'm not sure. But if we go down to the description, their description is 1969S double die proof sealed penny one of a kind. This coin will be the first proof double die penny still in case sealed. Well, one thing that is usually correct is that if you don't say doubled die, and you say double, then you are probably not qualified to say whether or not it is a double die or not. And I've looked through these photos, and I think all of the doubling they're seeing is machine doubling. Let's look at some of their close-ups. I'm not really seeing what they're pointing at right there. That's machine doubling. Not seeing anything on the date, really. Not seeing anything in that photo. Not seeing anything. Not seeing any doubling on Liberty. And all of this doubling that they're pointing to is flat and shelf-like, and it is just machine doubling. So that does not add any extra value to this coin. Because machine doubling is extremely common. So hopefully this was also not a real sale and nobody actually paid $31,600 for this coin because it is not a doubled die. That was all I had prepared for this video. As always, if you have a question about a coin or a piece of currency, please email your questions and clear photos to info at livecoinqa.com. And thank you for watching.